Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a reaction to the funniest moment ever on the paternity coat. I love paternity coat. I always find it funny, but we're going to see which one are the funniest one and I hope you guys enjoy it. But before we get started, this episode is going to be about film focus. So if you guys want to see the original clip, I'll put a link of it down below and let's get started with this. For sure, these are mine. Come on, please. So I jump out the window. You know what I'm saying? He jumped out of the window? Jump it all I mean, this is turning into 50 shades of paternity. <laughs> Your ex to come be with me because you couldn't get enough of being around me. What are you talking about? Okay. In this episode, okay. <laughs> on her best friend, she thinks he is the biological father of her three year old son. He claims Ooh. the father is her ex fiance. Here's why he has his doubts. One day, I went out to her house. Okay. Some drinks out there. We get to drinking, you know what I mean? And so, as I'm drinking, you know, one thing, she came, first of all, she came to the door with a short skirt off, you know. So okay. She never goes to the door and peep out the peephole. And I'm guessing it was one of the stalkers or one of the boyfriends. Exactly. You don't even or, know. Because she's open up the door. As the person kept knocking on the door, <laughs> here's what he did next. Well, somebody he at said, the door, you lying. I believe, I'll jump out the window. You know what I'm saying? He jumped out the, the window. I'm going to jump out the window. So you I put on your clothes, then jumped out the window. Okay. If he's that afraid for his life, oh. he wouldn't go back to her place again, right? Well, you're wrong. He went back? Although he went, he was cautious too. He she came downstairs. I don't know why you said that. downstairs with the baby in her hand, and she could have told me right then and there. And I asked And you holding the baby. I'm holding, I'm holding the baby. And you're looking <laughs> up and you don't see your face? No. No, oh. Well, you you didn't look at the baby and just say, "Oh my goodness, this baby looks just like me." Here's Mrs. Payne's response. Mrs. Payne, she... what went through your mind when you decided to call and tell him? My son, he's three years old now, and he needs to know who his daddy is. It's not about us; yeah. it's about him. Why would you wait three years to say because that? Because I said she's gonna act the same way that's, you're that's, acting that's, now. That's not this right. This man that's tarnished right, my though. name that's and right. everything. Wait, when in reality, it's about not it's not about now. us anymore. It's that's about this little all. boy. That's so you should have been a man and was ready to get the DNA test going and get to the bottom of it. She has a fiance she has sex with apart from Mr. Lawrence, and she prepared a calendar for that. Wait, wait, wait. So she, she's engaged. And then she was sleeping around with someone else and ended up being pregnant. And then she said, is the boyfriend, like the guy that she slept around is the dad? But he's like, no, it's your fiance that is the dad. <laughs> oh, wow. And he said, there's someone else? Okay, cool. This is actually getting interesting. Uh, All right, so in your statement to the court, you said you prepared a calendar. Yes, you I have did. that calendar? I sure do. She actually did. So the yellow... Well, I would as well. That you were intimate with your fiancé at the time. Yes. On the 8th, you broke up with your fiancé, and then on the 10th, you got together with Mr. Lawrence. Although the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, you were with your fiancé. Yes. We got that Wait. together. Mr. Lawrence, what? as you look at this That's calendar, messed up. do you see how you fit in this picture? <laughs> <laughs> the results are in. The case of Lawrence versus Payne when it comes to three Do you think it's a dad? Antonio. Mr. Lawrence, you are not the father. Ooh. What the judge says next is hilarious. There's obviously a color Missing out of your box. <laughs> Hilarious excuses and evidence is what you'll oh get from God, this next so episode. Funny. Rumors and incriminating. She said that. <laughs> she said <laughs> She said <laughs> Okay, I'm trying not to. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like <laughs> Oh my gosh, she literally only woke up with her ex for three days and in that break, she managed to find someone to sleep with? Wow. And then the judge is like, no, there's actually someone else out there. You didn't put it? Oh, this is funny. All right, let's go. Getting evidence led Amanda to question the paternity of his fiance's oh, nine month so old son. He refuses to move ahead with their plans to legally wed. He looked like until you. He's proven to be the biological father. Can you please? 
please tell the court oh, how that did be you so meet cute. Miss Sanchez? Uh, well, we met on Tinder, and I'm swiping, I'm swiping, and I came across her profile, and I super like. So super like is when it goes directly to them, so they know somebody likes you. And so okay. she liked me back. We connected. We were supposed to hang out the first night, and she declined because she was with somebody else she met from Tinder. So the oh, second night I is when know. we actually hung out. She came over. Um, we had some drinks. One thing led to another, and we had sex the first night. The first night you met? Yes, it was the first night. That's definitely a super sweet, <laughs> super light, whatever you called it. After the sex, they both had different ideas on what their relationship meant. So I oh. felt that we were exclusive, but me and her had two different ideas of what talking is. To me, talking is... What? No, what does talking even mean? Well, listen. I can't talk about this because I haven't been in a relationship. <laughs> Technically, I have. Technically, I am. Okay, let's go back. I talk to a lot of people. What does that mean? That means nothing to me. We had no no ground yeah, rules. That's, that's where a lot of the trust issues came in because I'm thinking one way, she's thinking another way. How many people was she talking to? So how many conversations did you have open when you were with Mr. Turbo? Exactly. <laughs> we were just talking. <laughs> so I'm right. You was on the party line and you had stopped swiping. Yes. And you was on automatic swipe. <laughs> But it has to be had any physical evidence. The evidence had the courtroom in stitches. Who oh. ever get any physical evidence that Miss Sanchez was with someone else? Yeah, Sharon, I did. So we went to the grocery store. We went to the grocery store and um, we came back. So I go to the trunk to get the groceries or whatever. And I find men's boxers in the trunk. Oh. Now, I know for sure these are mine. I'm like, whose are these? These are not mine. What? So, Girl, you want to go get it? <laughs> they wash it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, you know I'm a germaphobe. Put it on the stand. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> Men's boxers. Here's the excuse she gave. Miss Sanchez. How did these men's boxer shorts get in your trunk? Okay, because I had done laundry at my family member's house. I have male family members, and that's a lie. Because but a whole pair of men's boxer shorts is the one thing in your uh. trunk out of all the laundry? That's an unfortunate coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> but that's exactly what happened. That's it. That's Here's the result. Oh. It has been determined by... I want him to be the dad. He's so cute. It's determined. You... The father. Oh, I knew he looked like him. From sharing too much to threesome. Threesome? Interesting. This episode has everything. So, Mr. Adel, what do you mean she broke the terms of the relationship? Your Honor, okay. we, have, we have certain rules. We're swingers, you know, and, uh... Um, Okay. okay. She went outside of the relationship. She cheated on me, and now she's trying to pin the baby on me. <laughs> Things get interesting. The first time you all have this threesome, what happens? I mean, I know what happens, I guess. But <laughs> I, well, I really don't, but I, I don't know if I want oh, to. Oh, please. Who no. finds the people? How, how does that start? Um. Well, the way we did it was uh, we put an ad out online. An uh, ad online? Yes. You're joking. What like this say? <laughs> For them to choose a threesome partner, they go through a process. All right, so what? tell me what, what happened. I mean, you just say they answered the ad and now you can come over? How does that work? By talking to someone through text message or email, I can tell whether they're intelligent or they're, or they're a, a bird brain, you know? So I... And I, so for something like... I don't know what to say. Like... Seriously, people actually do that. Like you. Okay, I want to understand if both of them are interested in threesome, but to go online to actually offer. That's actually. Oh my gosh, I can't even say anything about it because I don't even know what to say. Like, I can't even compromise that. How? You... How is that going to work? Huh? Like this, do you want someone intelligent or a bird brain? I don't I know would, which one. I would like someone to 
be intelligent, yeah. We had some drinks. She had told me that she was comfortable. We had given her a body massage. Then, uh, Wait, then is it two guys and we, one or uh, he two girls and one? Um, I asked, I guess. <laughs> the details were too much for Judge Lauren. I so. feel like the testimony now is very specific. <laughs> <laughs> a little... I mean, this is turning into Fifty Shades of Paternity. <laughs> <laughs> So the bottom line is, is it happened. I don't need the details that way. It happened. And Miss Jones, did you have intercourse with both men that night? Yes. You did. Right. Yes. Oh. So, why did she cheat? What happened with this other man? Why decide... How can you cheat when you're allowed to have reason with someone else? Like, how? I to have sex with this other man without... Mr. Adel, I felt neglected. He would leave many hours of the night, sometimes even days. And when I would ask him where he was, he would tell me it's none of my business. Oh. So I turned around and went out with one of his friends, had a couple drinks, and one thing led to the next. We used the condom. I remember. The results are in. Next. It up. has been determined by this court. That's Mr. your son. Adel, you are the father. I told you. This man thinks his side woman's child is not his. His testimony oh. is hilarious. Did Sandal, he say side you woman? You and the defendant, Mr. Jackson, were in a serious relationship, and it was his idea to have a baby. But now that your three-year-old daughter, Micaiah, is here, he denies being her father. Mr. Jackson, you claim I don't think that Miss Sales that. is a former side chick who is trying at. to pin a baby on you. Wait, because sorry. Oh, His testimony go. is hilarious. Miss Sales, you claim that you and the defendant, Mr. Jackson, were in a serious relationship and it was his idea to have a baby. But now that your three-year-old daughter, Micaiah, is here, he denies being her father. Mr. Jackson, you claim that Miss Sales is a former side chick who is trying to pin a baby on you only because Ooh. she wants you back in her life. You are certain you are not her daughter's father. Before paternity was a Dressed, they couldn't agree on what the relationship was. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, she said you were in a five-year relationship. Is that true? No, ma'am. What oh. were you doing? Huh? You know, she was like my side woman. Your Ooh. side woman. She was your side woman. In your Ooh. testimony, you weren't in a relationship at all. I mean, we had a relationship, but it wasn't serious, you know. We... You left your ex to come be with me. How was we not it in was, a relationship? It was, it was more of, you know, she had great sex. Uh, Oh, I put it on him and he could never leave. I mean, it, it, <laughs> he felt the timeline of her pregnancy created doubt and tried to prove it to the court. So is it your testimony that you didn't have sex from June when you broke up with Miss Sales all the way in July, yeah. nor in August, yes, nor in September? He's no lying. He just said he loved it. Wow. Why would he stop? He's lying. <laughs> I mean, he looked like he lied. I don't even have to say it. <laughs> She told him she was pregnant. She didn't want a DNA test. We what on, did she do? We was on our way going out, you know, we was uh, a few blocks away whatsoever. She started crying. I guess I was, I guess she seemed me more serious about it because I've been saying I'm supposed to be getting oh. a DNA test for a while. And then what happened? We left. Why? Left. It was just too much at the time. What do you mean too much? I, for her for you? This lie is too much. I we got to the building. Listen, Your Honor, you know, I wanted to take it, but I also wanted to listen to what she had to say at the end of the day. Cause and because put the blame on the woman. A nice, oh, sweet, stupid. humble young man. Yes, Your Honor. You just decided I don't want to hurt this young woman's feelings <laughs> and go back home to Miss Sales to only have sex with her and continue to devalue her. He felt pity for the child and just didn't want to take a DNA test. And I seen her break down, so it really made me like, I, I could be tripping. Sounds like you did care about Miss Sales. I cared about it a little bit, but not too much. <laughs> Talk. I'm confused. You ain't gonna keep standing her time. Oh, my God. Hold on. Since the day you met me, what are you Man, saying? On, That's why you left your ex to come be with me, cause you couldn't get enough of being around me. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for the results now. She was like, okay. It's that was hilarious. When it comes to three-year-old Micaiah Jackson, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Jackson. You 
are the father. Oh, all right, guys, that was actually funny. He actually is the father, which is good. I was shocked. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, that was actually funny. Oh my gosh, which one did I like? Um, ooh. I think the last one was the funniest one. Yeah, the fact that he says she's my sidekick and I didn't want to go to take the penalty test because I didn't want to hurt the feeling when you call her a sidekick. Oh my god, why is he sidekick? I'm a side chick. That's that's mind blowing. Anyway, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave in the comment down below. If you have other videos similar to this you want me to react to, put it in the comment down below and I will do them. I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.